What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the top of the map in the blue color playing as Thor. His name is Soup. His opponent today in the red color playing as Set. His name is Thor Sigma. Yes, Hell's Ravage. I'm gonna see another Hell's Ravage game here today. Uh, noticed he played a bunch against a bunch of top players and I wanted to watch how they went. So, we've got ourselves set, we've got ourselves Thor, we've got ourselves Vision already being cast and an elephant being converted straight away. Elephants take 70 seconds to be converted. I thought it was a minute there, I was about to say a minute, but I checked. 70 seconds, which is going to be enough, most likely, for him to come back and not have to move his villagers onto a secondary hunt. Now... Let me unpack Set just a little bit because I feel like everybody doesn't understand Set and th therefore uh, doesn't understand like, and therefore thinks that maybe Set's not that strong. Set is an economic powerhouse in the fact that Set's timings are ridiculously strong. So Set does things like two town center fast mythic at like 11 minutes with full population armies. That's what Set does. But... Set falls off really hard in the late game. So you don't want to be trying to play for the late game with Set. As that's the case, and you should realize that, I feel like this vision is something you should always hold on to with Set. Therefore, uh, thus being able to do things like if your opponent's fully walled up, you can then vision onto their back town center, shifting sands, villages, and an army onto it, kill that off, and then find yourself an advantage where that's concerned. If you don't do that, then you have to like push straight forward through your opponent's units and your timings won't hit as hard as they should. Uh, that being said, if you do use vision early, that signifies to me that you actually want to be going for Anubites. As we see the, uh, the giraffes over there getting uh, getting eaten and then beyond all of this if you don't use your animals for food in the early game having to move your villages over here sets your timings back even further and i i don't see the point in moving over to these giraffe when you can just convert them with your priest and bring them into your base save the walking time which ends up being quite a lot if you take an actual quick Thank look you. at how long it takes for a villager to get over here you're looking at somewhere in the vicinity of 10 resources per villager to get onto this and the giraffe only loses like a maximum of like, well, loses something like 50, 50, 75 resources or something. So if you send seven villagers over here and then have to bring them back, that's another 10 resources-ish that you're losing. You end up, like if you send three villagers, you end up losing that bonus of, of, of total hunt gathered. And, and even then you've, you, 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 you're going to be fine. Um, so just as a... I'm going to keep on saying it until I start seeing set players doing it because I obviously it's a it's a strong way to play the game. We are seeing the temple coming down. Still no mon or oh, he's got a monument already up for uh for Hell's Ravage here. He might be going for Anubis. He might be throwing a second monument down a little bit later and kind of going for that delayed Anubis. I think the set on nearly every single map can go for a 432 monument build into Anubites and it's much much stronger than the 530 build that I see people going for. Uh so we'll see what he's what he's going to try here. As Soup is already up through Forsetti, he's got the temple forward, and he is ready to be aggressive. He's thrown down his funny walls here. He's got himself uh, already with Harmonia's necklace, uh, and he's got, he's about to get going. He's throwing the walls up all over the map. Obviously aware that Anubis is a threat here, and he wants to play around it. And this is partly why I think that vi holding vision is really important if you're going to go for the sh the tar game plan because your opponent who's Norse is going to have to play around Anubis to some degree and will be wanting to wall up the map early so holding that vision is is, uh, is really really Tilbury. important anyways onwards and upwards we see Anubis coming through we don't see that second monument down just yet I'm not sure why he hasn't gone for it we see the lion coming through uh, over here these villagers happily gathering this these resources here obviously he's going to be wanting to drop down a barracks here and be aggressive this map Blue Lagoon nice and open you can get some really really aggressive early game shenanigans happening here with set if you uh if you want <coughs> soup on the other hand we are going to be seeing the uh the ox cart coming in 
If you can do a breakdown on the relics, that would be fantastic. At least some relics come down to animation times or amounts of animations per second. Sure. I mean, we can talk about what what soup grabbed here. In Harmonia's necklace, you get an extra 10% gather rate. So that's the same as being able to get yourself pickaxe. So right now, um, well, it's almost like getting pickaxe. So pickaxe, as we see what's happening, pickaxe gives an extra five uh, gold carry capacity as well as 10% gather rate. So you're missing out on that five yeah. gold carry capacity, which just means that your villagers doesn't have to walk as much. But beyond that, the real base gather rate change actually comes down to animations. So if the dwarf mines uh, like one animation per second, then if it takes your dwarf 10 animations to gather 10 gold, then that's that's the thing. And then say you get an upgrade and it goes to nine animations per uh, per per ten gold, then you're looking at an increase of of like one or ten percent, right? Is that is that right? Something like this, I don't know. But it's not it's not exactly gonna be ten percent for everything, whatever the thing is. So you just have to kind of look at the animations and see if you actually are getting less animations per um, per 15 gold or 10 gold or whatever to work out exactly if it's good or not. As we see Soup, he sees Anubis. He's going to be getting the town center. This is this is the standard the standard game plan here as uh, as our set player, Hell's Ravage, going to be making himself Axeman Spears and getting very, very aggressive here. He's moving in onto this position, the town center on the way. It's very well defended, but there is a gap around here. So if, uh, if Hell's spidey senses are tingling, he will be able to defend this one as the uh, priest over here trying to grab this elephant away from his uh, his opponent. He does get spotted as the troll comes in with the help of a her, sir. Be pushing this priest off. No, no free elephant for you, sir. No free elephant at all. Uh, and it looks like we aren't seeing those uh, those spidey senses tingling here at all. If I if, if if I'm thinking that this town center is coming up here, he might actually be able to get on onto it. He still has a spot and he does spot it. And this is going to be huge here. He's going to be able to start attacking this one with the Spearman. There's a whole bunch of... Well, there should be way more Axemen here at this point. The throwing Axemen coming through to defend this one. We see the Serpents getting dropped in the town center. Gets denied here. Absolutely huge for Hell's Ravage as he's pushing in. He's, he's got the Pharaoh in. You've got to be super careful with this Pharaoh. If he gets taken out, things are going to be really sad for you because that troll is, is, is absolutely brutal if you don't have heroes in this mix. There's more units getting trained still. Spearmen, Axemen pushing forward. The Towns are getting hurt just a little bit as those Spearmen are going to be searching around the map. Unfortunately, he, he only has to go here. He doesn't know that this hunt is being gathered just yet. I mean, he could select it and come in, but he is going for a cheeky surround onto this position to get a little bit of damage done as the town center goes down. That gives Soup all of those resources back. So now Soup's got a, an extra bunch of resources. He's got tons in the bank. The Spearman's still not finding this hunt here, but they're going to circle in and hit this straight away right now as now we're going to be seeing the units push forward onto this position to try and cut this villager retreat path off. But the army here for Soup pushing forward. I feel, 100% feel that... Uh, we can see a really, really strong attack here, and it works. But you just need to get some spearmen, uh, so, sorry, some priests in here to help out against those those ranged units a little bit. As that's exactly what we are seeing happening here. Is one priest going to be coming in to take out this? Not only that, one extra way to keep this pressure up. Uh, funnily enough, is to actually make hyena of set here to push yourself into a bit more of an advantage. Thirty-two favor in the bank here is equal to. Uh, something something like 9, 10, uh, 10 hyena of set potentially being able to train. And you don't you do not do it to push yourself, like you just do it while the fight's happening in order to get immediate reinforcements in and get yourself feral. And those hyenas of set, they can tank and they're really, really strong so long as they're not getting dealt with by those herso, which you can kill very easily. But now we see Watchtowers is up and I wouldn't be surprised at all if Super's thinking about going to the Heroic Age as soon as as he possibly can. Right now, the villagers over on this hunt over here very much enjoying themselves, but the spearmen, they know this. And does he sneak through here? It looks like he does. 
as uh, as Soup's going to be in an awfully terrible position right now. That's 16 Spearmen right now onto all of those villagers as he will attempt his darkness to take these down. The village is going to turn and start shanking away as uh, Hell's Ravage picks off so many. Four villagers going down, five villagers almost. He decides to retreat away. Those throwing axemen a little bit too scary for him with their medium upgrades. And, uh, and we will be having to see... Hell's Ravage retreating here, but he gets the damage done. And the question is, is it enough or not? As some more units pushing in onto this position over here. Obviously, or maybe not obviously, getting some Anubites out here could be really, really strong as well to deal with the Throwing Axemen army, which, uh, which Soup has assembled. So Throwing Axemen, very, very strong. But if you have yourself a new bite, you can jump onto those Throwing Axemen and they will be distracted and get picked off. Uh, or, or get distracted so they're not actually dealing damage onto your spearmen and then your axemen can get onto the throwing axemen as well without dying and getting max damage done as well as soup now pushing out as best as he can the villagers finishing up on this gold finishing up the food in their base uh, a little bit worrying right now for our uh, our set player as he gets completely caught out with his army. What is it doing here? Tons of damage being uh, suffered here as he tries to be a little bit uh, a little bit tricky here with his army, but he is caught out taking tons of damage, retreating away. It might be worth it to just turn and take this fight at the very least, uh, but. As he does decide to turn just then and there, but he doesn't. He, he needs to get kind of a surround with his uh, with his infantry-based army here. He's finally getting a few uh, slingers out here to help out, but he's still got these priests in his army. Three point six speed, making these units move really, really slow. Going to suffer a lot of damage for those cavalry there. Villagers now onto this gold mine in the middle of the map here. As well, like I said, running out of food, really, really bad here for our set player. He's going to have to start getting himself farms. He's getting himself Feed of the Jackal, getting himself Guardian Anubites. The army now starting to take this fight over here as we see the Pharaoh able to start taking down that troll here, but uh, a little bit of micro right now by Soup. Going to pull that one in. A little bit scary there as now the Axemen are actually on top of these uh, throwing Axemen. Going to be able to deal with those, but now the rest of the army going to come in. We've got a whole bunch of idle units over here for uh, Hell's Ravage as Soup is now 600 score in front of our Egyptian player, Hell's Ravage in this game. Somehow, some way, after losing so many villagers, now the villagers finishing up on that gold, going to be moving forward onto this gold mine. We do have ourselves pickaxe in uh, already for for Hell's Ravage. It's the farm's going to be coming down. He obviously doesn't have Shadoof, so these farms are uh, very, very expensive to throw down as well. As over here, we see these villagers attempting to come onto this gold mine. A handful of raiding cavalry do come through here, and these villagers are going to be on the retreat path. As we'll see if any more units coming in. No, not just yet. The town center going to be getting grabbed right now by Soup. As now, Hell's Ravager sees that. What can he do is the big question. And the answer is he needs to kind of go all in onto a gold mine. Because uh, Soup's gold is now expired. He's going to be moving up onto this location over here. There's gold here. There's gold here. That's kind of it. We see... Uh, not only that, this town center also gives kind of access to this hunt here for Soup to grab. As the uh, raiding cavalry are kind of all over the place here with Soup now, 124, 130 population with lots of wood in the bank to start farming here. Absolutely brutal. We see the uh, villagers trying to get onto this position. The uh, Guardian Anubites coming forward to try and take these vi villagers out, doing a nice job of that as the army for Hell's Ravage still getting uh, chased down, taking lots of damage there. How many slingers does he actually have? He's got himself five slingers at 16 range. Not bad against those 10 range throwing axemen with also the help of the Guardian Nubites with good micro here. The fight can go the wayside of Hell's Ravage as long as he takes it nicely here. He's still kind of on the retreat path. But look at this. There's so many trolls out for Soup. The trolls are actually an immaculate counter to the Guardian Anubites. If you take a quick look at the troll, it does 200% uh, bonus damage against these Anubites. So if you jump in, their trolls are just focus them down immediately and things are going to be really, really tough. So you do have to get those priests to safety. Maybe box formation or something like that to get the priests on the back to allow those trolls to get taken down. You can see the, the, the uh, Anubites dropping in. And look at the damage. They get taken out so quickly here. Nice micro there, though, by uh, Hells to keep them alive. Going to be jumping back in. Does lose one. The army going to be coming in here as well. Most of these units are spearmen here. The axemen are the ones he wants. <coughs> but it's just the army getting absolutely melted as Hells has to tap out. 
really, really fast here against Soup. He's such a bonkers player. Even after losing so many villagers over on this hunt spot, he still manages to somehow make his way back into this game. Absolutely bonkers uh, play here from, from Soup. I don't know how he does it. His economy is always absolutely gigantic. Hells puts all the pressure on, but he just couldn't make it happen fast yeah. enough. Something I would have liked to have seen is to make some uh, make some Anubites just a little bit earlier. When he saw the mass throwing Axemen, he could have just gone, all right, Anubites, move around the map. Maybe, uh, if he, maybe if we had some better line of sight on some of the hunt, could have grabbed that. We see the villagers over here that could have been raided. Instead of going for an all-in here, pulling back could have been an option once he sees the trolls coming out. Definitely more priests were 100% what he needed. But while this is all going on, he's just like Thor, like, um, Thor Sigma. Hell's Ravage is just, his, his economy is, is just shot for, for no real reason. Look at the economic difference here. 10,000 to 16,000 civilian unit difference. There's no difference. The, 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 the Egyptian player is so far in front, actually, on village account. He's at 40. He was at, he was at 41 to 36 for a, for a portion here. And the real reason I think that the set player is behind here so heavily on food is because his pharaoh is in his army instead of instead of uh, empowering. And while I think that that's a good thing, if it's in your army, you've got to be fighting and finding the advantages where that's concerned. I mean, alternatively, you just bring it once you run out of all that hunt. Just come back, make gazelle, delete the gazelle, eat the gazelle, and hunt for the rest of the game because you need to find some sort of economic advantage to beat uh, to play set. If you don't, then what is the point? Because you don't really have much many many strong options here uh, beyond all of that. So either getting those new bites out earlier, making some uh, making some animals to eat instead of farming, all those things could have been an idea. Getting an earlier heroic age because of it could have been a way forward here. But soup just too strong here. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider uh, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next game.